Grown Man Record Out is broadcast before a live studio audience. Everybody, welcome to Grown Man Record Night. Uh, this is the place to be on your Friday night. We got the Thief back in effect after. Uh, Are we on a hill? A little bit of. You're, you're, yeah, that's, that's what we call a Dutch tilt in the business. Okay, Dutch tilt. Dutch tilt. Well, that's quite a hill. Film noir. That's film noir. We're all falling down towards Steve. You see the bubble on the back? You see the bubble you level, You see the Jay? bubble level, Jay? You see the bubble level? Curbist. Yeah, you bubble. unscrew that you bottom. Bubble? Don't touch the, don't yes. touch the cable. Just keep nope. your hand on the top of the camera. Right here? Keep nope. your Keep your hand on nope. top of the camera. Right here. No. Nope. Keep your hand on the top of the camera. And then on the bottom of the camera, there's a knob. On the bottom of the oh, tripod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the bottom no, no, of the no, tripod. No, no, the bottom of the tripod, right there. There you go. So keep your hand on Level the top it. of the camera. So, Level. So when you do that, it doesn't just. So it needs to go more it does, just doesn't do that. There right there. Freeze. Now tighten it back down. Tighten the ship. You're look, look at Jay doing a job. Jay, think, Jay you got a game going in there? I think he cut me off again. I think he's cut me off though. I he is. I can't go right. Jay, you should bump it back to where Steve's not cut off as much. Yeah, you bumped it and you panned. You bumped it, you Jay. Panned, you, just. Just, just, center, just center I, us up. I got up. a little right hand. I'm going to show some right go. hand there action. There we go. Right to freeze. I got to show some right hand action. You're tonight. good. Now we're good. Everything's good. We're Everybody good. calm down. Uh, what you been doing, Steve? Where you been? I don't remember. Uh, uh, I had to deal with a dryer issue. You did have a dryer a issue. A dryer shit to bed, and I don't like buying new appliances. And I like of course to, not. Who likes that? I like to break things down and see what's going on. So I, I ended up... It, took, it, it takes me longer because I'm not an electrician. But Neither I fixed it. It was the timing motor. It was the last. The, the, the item they say rarely goes out is the yeah. one that went out. And I've actually, I've actually changed the timing motor on a washer as well. So it's, 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 a, it's not as solid a part as people say. I mean, is that vinyl related? No. Is that grown man related? Big time. Absolutely. That's, big time. That's some big time we, grown man business. We right have there. a lot of new friends we met at the laundromat over the past two weeks. Laundry mats are a unique. Um, this one's pretty cool. Actually. Social experiment. We found a dryer that doesn't shut off. Is she? You should bring uh, your is she Asian? You should bring your clothes over there. Is she Asian? There's nothing wrong with that, right? But I'm glad to be back. Yeah, it's been. Uh, yeah, we've been having a good time here tonight, playing some records, hanging out, uh, having some fellowship. I want to say happy birthday to my daughter. Oh, yeah. It's her birthday today. She turns 11. 11, 11 years we're, old. We're having a sleepover tomorrow. What time should I get there? Uh, <laughs> sorry. Sorry, uh, bananas, but uh, no, this is... Uh, I've got a great kid's magic act. She made her own pinata. It's where I make my credit score disappear. She made her own pinata. Yeah? Yeah. Isn't that killer? That's pretty cool. It's in the shape of a ball. Paper mache? It's in the shape of a balloon. I don't know. Uh, never mind. I don't want to be there. <laughs> paper mache? Uh, paper mache, yeah, yeah. Paper mache. Paper mache. Okay. Good time. I don't have what a rundown. What's this going on? I don't yeah, have you don't have a rundown. I don't have anything written down. I was just like, I, I sort of come. Some, some shows, folks, I look up records and I know like stuff about things going on. Other shows, um, uh, we turn the camera around and we hit go. Have you ever seen that a show called uh, it's these North Carolina cats called Magical Mythical Morning or something like it's that? It's Red and Link. It's, it's Red and Link. The guys who did the the Red House, That's which is a local Red House. a local furniture store here in High Point. Where black people and white, white people, people buy furniture. furniture. Yeah, and Hispanic, but. It's they do these really low end stuff, and it's it, it reminds some people watch that show, and it reminds us of this show. But oh. this show's a much darker version of that show. Uh, is, yeah. In fact, I think they they've done a, like a chip chat type of a sh uh, segment on their show. Really? Or a, it was a so to speak thing. They did something very. They've done. I was on the phone. I was I was dialing law the lawyer 
not sure, you know. They've done commercials for businesses not two, three miles from here. Yeah. I don't know why I even the, brought, I don't know why I even brought those guys up. The car dealer gynecologist guy? Yeah. That's like two and a half, three miles from here. Easy. Oh, that guy. He's like from the Middle East? Yep. Oh, you gotta look this up. It's car it's like gynecologist car dealer. And used car dealership. It's 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 great. And the red house great. furniture is probably four miles away. Just right downtown. You're in the middle of legend of history, right? It's here. just right downtown. It's my favorite set of directions that I get from a gentleman very often. I don't know how to get there. Yeah. Oh, it's uh. It's so last time I was it's here. Just right downtown. Last time I was here, we did a rather long show. We talked about it last week. It was a war. It was a world <laughs> record for grown men record night. An hour forty six minutes. Well, sometimes you just get you just get in the the moment. The zone. You get in the zone, whatever you want to call it. Uh, there's no TV over here. No. Uh, the Atari alcove is missing at the moment. We wow. Have to, uh, the, the TV was reclaimed, so we're going to... We can fix that. Oh, we can fix I, it. I got... I'll probably have Who something. Was? Nipsey Russell was found alive. Jay saying the Nipsey Cur Russell Curbis. was found alive. A Curbis is now reporting Nipsey Russell was found alive in Wyoming. Wyoming. Is that breaking news? Wyoming. Okay. So, all right. Yeah. We'll check on that. I don't know anything about that. I don't have any details about that. I'm looking at my, uh, no, I have nothing on that. What's going on in the world of music news? We got a you know, record know. store days coming up. Record store I'm is I'm not really excited about, about it. Three, about three weeks? There was a two weeks? couple of things on the list that I, I know next, I think it's next weekend is the food truck festival right outside of Underdog. And yeah. they're expanding the reach so people won't be so packed in because it was very popular last year. But it'll put people right in front of his store all day, which is nice. Yeah. A uh, local record store that we appreciate. We'd like to send him love. Absolutely. Maybe he'll do well. And we got Fuzz Fest coming to I got uh, something from him today. Yeah? Is that a teaser for Dig of the Week? It could be. I don't know. That's a teaser for Dig of the Week. Folks, Dig of the Week, we got, um, I picked up some records from a, from a bargain spot. Steve's got some stuff he's not brung. Plus, we got some stuff in Chip Chat coming up that uh, we've not really even discussed what we're going to do. And I, so to speak, that... Could plus, be something we may have put off for a very Plus, banana long. shows his ball sack. We're going to hope that uh, Candlebox is playing the food truck fest this year. Candlebox is going to be up there. Hey, there's a there's a there's a festival coming in to Winston. It's got all these like '90s bands. Buzz Fest? Uh, no, no, no. It's a it's a it's a gears and brews and bikes. Oh and, yeah. It's a, it's a they're having a like a collective soul of road, road bikes like 12 speeds what do you call that they're having a, a, a four day thing and they're having bands every night i will say this though one of the bands that's playing is cracker oh really and i love cracker and I, i've i've seen them maybe well i saw camper van beethoven and i saw cracker because, yeah, and they were going to come again to Ziggy's and they, they canceled for some reason that's a georgia band right no 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 no, no they're california california yeah what was i thinking that was an athens band well uh well, because Camper Van Beethoven set up a headquarters in Athens. Oh, maybe. Pitch, okay. It's called Pitch a Tent Records. Maybe that's what I'm thinking of. Probably. Probably. Yeah. They, fit, uh, they fit well. Into also the this week, and me and Jay were talking about this earlier, speaking of music news, one of the things that kind of came out this week was, um, as you know, uh, ACDC had been looking for a singer. And uh, reports are coming in that it's going to be... Axel Rose. I think it's bullshit. You think it's bullshit? Yeah. You know, there's an there's actually a local a local kid that would be the best fucking choice for that. I think there's Axel a, Rose would be a horrible idea. Personally. Look, it's a horrible idea. There's there's a band called Thunderstruck, and we played with them like this past summer. Tribute band. Tribute band. Yeah. A CDC tribute band, and he doesn't do Bon Scott, but he does Brian Johnson like fucking nobody. He's like that fucking Filipino kid that did Journey. Steve Perry. Yeah. I mean, it is amazing what this guy could do. He's a good-looking kid too, so I think he'd be. I think he'd be great. In fact, I think he he has been in communication with those guys. I don't know where it is with that. I can't give you an update, but I'll throw it out there to the grown man record our community. I hate ACDC, so I'm not going to speak do. about this. Axl Rose doing shows with ACDC. Terrible. Yay, nay. That's that's just that's just what like. What do you think? Leave just, us a comment. It's just like gloss. It's just like whatever. It's not. There's no substance to that. Uh, not that ACDC has that substance, but yeah, I like ACDC. I I understand what they're doing. They're doing I like Guns N' Roses. They're playing an A and they're doing it really well. 
you know? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying that would be a bad time, but just hearing that, just like, oh my God. Do you have a favorite ACDC song? I have one. Thunderstruck. Thunderstruck. Okay. Just because of the beginning. That, yeah. that non-stop riff. Mine is Ride On, which is on, I think, Dirty Deeds. It's that real slow... It's another lonely evening. You know, it's Bob That's Scott. one of those everybody keeps telling me. Like, oh, but if you heard this, have you heard this? And, and to people's credit, that's what I did with the uh, Rolling Stones. I was not a Rolling Stones fan. As people were like, no, man. As I started collecting records more and more, that became like, you know what? You guys are right. The Stones are killer, and I'm, I'm the, being well, they stupid. Make, they make great records. And I'll I even admit Alice Cooper, that Alice Cooper record that I picked up for cheap, I don't remember the name. Uh, the red one. It wasn't uh, Billion Dollar Babies. It was the red one. Uh, yeah. Jay, what's the name of that Alice Cooper I got? Killers. Um, I love it. Great record. And I hate. I mean, in the scope of thing, I hate Alice Cooper. But listen to that record. I'm like, this. Did you see that documentary about his producer? Supermensch. Supermensch. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. If you haven't seen it, watch it. It's yeah. it's it's fantastic. Also, I want to mention, this has nothing, we're just having a conversation. We are. We got no we're, uh, no rundown. Uh, this has nothing to do with people we're out glad here. You're, we're glad you're just no. voyeuring. This, this is how I'll include the internet here. Uh, several years ago, folks, um, and I'll see, uh, I'll find this while we're talking. Several years ago. Oh, you said sever. Sever years ago? Um, is that between six and They shot a movie around this area. Um, Which one? Which included uh, Owen Wilson and uh, Amy Poehler, oh, Zach um, Galifianakis. Are you listening? What are you here? Are you here? Are you here? Um, and uh, that involved. It point. almost ended. Up, part of it almost ended up at our station, but we had to say no. Actually, it was it was uh, Boss Man. And, you know, had to Boss tell Man him, had tell a no. Had a lot to do with this movie. He, he got, uh, in he a got lot of ways. Put, he got to put eyes on the script, is what happened. And he realized that, hey, this guy's kind of into some things that would, it's, you know. It was not a fair representation yeah. of uh, what we wanted to do. Yeah. You know, it's fair enough. Yeah, he made the call. So, but I, I just happened to be flipping through Netflix. This movie is on Netflix. Did you know this? Are you here? Yeah. I'm sure it is. It was. I had it in my DVR for the longest time, then I deleted it. <laughs> I like, oh, really? I'm not gonna watch this. Where did you? Where, where, where did it come on there? Uh, probably Showtime, maybe or something. I, I yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, you've got something to show the. I got crowd. something. Let's see what this is here. Um, I'm just doing this on the fly on here, the folks. Fly. This is how fast I am. Nothing, nothing this shakes was, me. This was not planned, ladies and gentlemen. Nothing shakes me, folks. Um, what are we listening to, but I gotta say, what we're listening to because whatever you played off the top was a, just amazing. It's this group. Uh, Is we, this archive? It's uh, freemusicarchive.org, free archive. and it's um, a group called PK Jazz Collective. I was fantastic. Okay. This whole there's a. I, I thought, thought it sounded like the Flaming Lips. Yeah, and I know some people don't like Flaming. It's Lips. like Flaming Lips mixed like with uh, Kraut Rock, maybe. Um, this whole okay. album. Uh, Super West has commented on it and said, man, thanks for turning me on to PK Jazz Collective. Th these guys are fantastic, and it's all free. Go to uh, freemusic.org, fr no, freemusicarchive.org, and search for uh, PK Jazz Collective, and you can download this shit that's playing underneath us. But no, a few years ago, this guy came to where we work. Stand by so I change the audio. Yeah, this dude here, you may have seen him before, uh, Owen Wilson. And uh, he came to see, like, what we do. Um, he uh, he hung out with a meteorologist. Cause he did. I think his role in the movie was that of a meteorologist, so he wanted to kind of kind of get a feel for what a meteorologist did. But I'm kind of stoked to see, because I know it's all shot around here. I think he should have hung out with Weather Days. Right? It's on um, uh, Netflix, though. I want to see it. I've never seen the movie. so. That was the point of that. I want to see the movie. We'll go see the movie. Just watch the I got movie. It on, watch, I, watch the movie. I, uh, I got on my... Just watch the damn movie then. I got it on my queue. Okay. I had it in my queue and then I deleted it. So I was like, I ain't got time for this. Oh, you sure you do. No. You, you got time for that. Let's talk about what we play. I do like Zach Galifianakis though. I'm the sure local it's... Local boy. I'm done sure good. It's sort of funny. 
from Wilkesboro, North Carolina, where I might go in a few weeks to see the Merle Fest. You know who's playing there? Uh, Tommy Emanuel is playing there. Tommy Emanuel. Well, John Oates is playing there. <laughs> Somebody else. Um, I've yet to tell cameraman that he's going to kill I always me. like to go to see the album hour. It's the Waybacks. They perform yeah. the Waybacks album hour, and every year they play an entire album. And but you still not they have this contest leading up to it where you try to guess what the album is. What? John Prine. Oh, John Prine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love John Prine. Illegal his, smile, his man. His chops are not what they were, but I would still love to see him before it's too late. That's all I'm going to say. I've yet, I, he's, he's fought mouth, mouth cancer and oh stuff. Oh, really? But my dad John had, Prine is a songwriter. My dad had mouth cancer. Songwriter. Twice. Our friend Randy, who hired me, told me that he was interviewing Chris Christopherson. I think I told you this already, but he was interviewing Chris Christopherson. Chris Christopherson said, If you like my stuff. If, if you like my stuff, you should. You need to listen to John Prine. Damn straight. I was almost like Chris Christopherson. I was yeah. channeled Chris Christopherson. Yeah, I think he did. It sounded a little <laughs> like it. Uh, this was something I left on the turntable from I don't know when. Matter of fact, a lot of times I leave records on the turntable. You shouldn't do that. It's bad for the vinyl and whatever. Are you ready for baseball season? I, I meant to play center the, field. The tonight. Cubs are they coming out? Are they gonna? Are they fucking gonna do it this year? I don't want to say nothing. You don't want to jinx it. No, I want, I want you to go want to, to jinx it. You should have confidence. I want to go to have confidence and go with it. I'm going to go to Wrigley this year. I turned off I turned off my sports packets because the Reds aren't, they don't want to be contenders. They're, they're, they're selling it. They, they don't get, care. You so, get free on the internet. So what, guess what? I'm not going to watch your games every night. I was watching Reds games every night. Or you can do them for free on the internet. Well, that way it doesn't hurt as bad. I, don't I, like, didn't, I, don't, I didn't invest I don't like, money in this team. I don't like stealing stuff. Stealing feels great, Steve. <laughs> I don't know if you're not American or whatever, but stealing okay. feels great. I'll talk, I'll, I'll talk to you later about that. Yeah, I'll give you a link. Okay. Uh, I'll send you an E. I'll blast you an E with a link. Uh, so, you know, sometimes I don't mean to do it, but I leave records on the turntable, and then when I come back in for the show the next week, I'm like, oh, shit, there's a record on the turntable. Well, i got to start the show with it. Uh, this week, not only did I leave a record on the turntable, I left the turntables on, the <laughs> receiver on, everything was on. <laughs> when I came in to do the show tonight, everything was on. And this was on the for turntable a for a week. For a, <laughs> for a full work week. Um, oh my God. Yeah, whatever. Uh, so I played the Flaming Lips Seven Skies H3. This was a limited edition clear vinyl exclusive. Um, on Record Store Day. I actually day. like this. It's fantastic. It's got the Record Store Day. Um, I think they overissued stuff for a while there. Well, they were doing some of the, It's hit and miss, and actually this one's kind of a This hit, one's good. I think. And I actually got this, um, which is crazy. If you, I still got the price tag, which you know, folks, I always leave the price tags on. I got this used for like, what, eight bucks? Used, which you don't normally see shit like this used. But this one time, this this guy must have just got tired of the weird, noisy. This sounds to me like a guy that smokes weed, has a bunch of flaming lips, decides to get clean and finds God, decides to stop smoking weed, and then listens to flaming lips records and be like, why did I buy this? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Especially some of the weirder ones, you're like, I don't know, this doesn't make any sense to me. Yeah. But at one time, you're like, bro, rewind that one song, let me hear that part where that guy does that thing. You know? <laughs> Uh, but uh, this one is one that really sticks out. But you, I've never seen the, it was 850 used uh, probably less than a year than when this came out. So somebody had bought this on Record Store Day and was like, oh yeah, for sure. And then after having it for less than a year, didn't like it and sold it. And there was a few, I bought three, I think, uh, Flaming Lips used records that were all fairly within the new within the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Really cool stuff, man. Really jamming you guys need to check that out. Um, <laughs> this is from some jazz stuff I picked up a couple of weeks ago from a Goodwill. Bargain bucket stuff. Uh, Paul Desmond, who I absolutely love. And I was a little leery because it's Paul Desmond with strings. And there is a tr the first track is slow. Like molasses. Did you, did you, but the next two tracks. Did you start on it? No, I didn't play that one. I previewed it. I played the next couple of tracks with, with some jamming Paul Desmond stuff, which you hear, 
that is uh, probably one of the only musicians, not one of the only, but, excuse me, one of the few musicians, he can play about eight bars of music, and I'm like, yep, Paul Desmond. Very distinct style, sound. You know if it's Paul Desmond, for sure. So that's Paul Desmond with strings. Okay. I picked up a couple All of weeks right, ago. Jay, what the hell are you doing? <laughs> Jay's, Jay's got a game going. Got a big game going. Okay. What world are you on? We put it down. You're on six two again. You still at six two? All right. You're six two like an well, hour. This ago. is your record, Jay. So t while you're standing here. This yeah. Give us a. Give us a. Show, you show this record, Jay. I'm tired of getting up. Yeah, you show it, Jay. I don't even know what that is. Sorry. This uh. This is one I got in that uh, promo album. What yeah, it's that? That, that big collection of metal I got a few weeks ago. This is Wasp, Blind in Texas, a 12-inch, 12-inch maxi single. You're a maxi. Yeah. Single. <laughs> it's worth a chunk. I saw, of, it's I saw worth, that coming. It's worth a chunk of change, actually. Is a it chunk, really? Yeah. A chunk of change. In the thirty-dollar range. I think you're kind of worth a chunk of change, Jay. Woo! But uh, this is my first uh, Wasp, and uh, I really enjoy it. Thank you. Yeah, somebody's calling you out for warp zones already. Huh? Warp zones. You're warping? I have to say, I was playing a Steinax the other night with cheat codes, and I got all the way to the end, and I'm like, I'm just going to be playing what? A Steinax NES game with the invincibility code. Because it's, it's a shitty game, and I'm like, well, I'm just going to, since it's a shitty game, I'm going to put the invincibility code in, and I'm going to run it all the way to the end, and beat the final boss, and just be done with the game and put it back on the shelf. Got to the final boss, the Nintendo freezes. I kid you not, like on the final fucking boss. I was so mad. Even using cheat codes, I was mad. But enough about me. Let's talk about your escrow account, Steve, while we okay. got a couple minutes. Um, <laughs> when it comes to pro. Sorry, I kind of zoned out. When it comes to probate, um, no. Another one I picked up a couple weeks ago, the Daz Band. Uh, played a couple tracks with some jam and funk stuff. This is uh, the early 80s kind of stuff. So it was like the 80s dance and uh, funky business kind of stuff. And I avoided the slow tracks on the album. Well, not bad. What, what year is that one? 80, what is it, Jay? I think 82, the one I like is the 70s 80. song. I think the one I like is You know, they're the ones that did Let It Whip. It's 80, 80 No, yeah, it's not. They did Let It Whip. Yeah. Then they do. They had, there's a big hit off of that record, but I don't know. I'm not Michael familiar with it. Jay, tell us about this monster of a jam that you put on here. This was uh, the Cult Choice of Weapon from 2011. One of my favorite comeback records of that's a, the that's, era. That's a great record. Yes, it is. Um, the reason I brought it actually was announced this week that Colt's going to be opening some dates for Guns N' Roses on the, the tour. So not only is Axl Rose going to be doing stuff with ACDC, allegedly, but uh, Guns N' Roses is going to be doing some dates as well. They played their first gig tonight. What city they start in? Los Angeles. Let's no go. Way. The City of Angels. You know what's ironic? We were talking about this earlier. Don't call me an iron, Jay. Um, the Colt's opening for a couple dates on the new Guns N' Roses tour. Yeah. Guns N' Roses got famous because they opened for the Rolling the Cult the cult. in the, the late eighties. In the late eighties, <laughs> the Cure. <laughs> the Cure. But man, if I ever sort out the difference between the Cult and the Cure, I think I will uh, attain Cure's not a bad. Cure's not a bad band. Either. No, they're not. No, they're not. Robert, better than the Pet Shop Boys. Robert Smith. Robert Smith. Robert Smith. Robert Pat. Remember uh, the. What's that show? Robot Smith. <laughs> it was the South Park. South Park. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I can't believe I guessed that. That was a total blind <laughs> guess. I totally just guessed out South Park, and that was right. <laughs> that just jumped in my head, and I just got it. Well, God, I'm Jesus Christ. I swear to God. I swear to my dad. I'm sorry. I swear to my dad. I'm sorry. See? <laughs> what else? What are we doing? Are we still in the middle of what we played today? Yeah, right now I'm pouring more funny down my throat, Steve. <laughs> okay. I'm glad. All right. Hey, this is something uh, I know from um, 
Yeah. It was a dig of the week a couple weeks ago. I picked it up uh, 75 cents at the old Goodwill because uh, Cameraman has this record over here. It's one of my favorites. Uh, the Sergio Mendez in Brazil 66. It's got the Joker on it. The Joker is me. Wow, I mean, yeah. The Joker is me. That is one of my favorite tracks. Does he know man? No. Take a lap, Jay. I'll tell you what. I'll, Cut I'll, that mess off. I'll do it with you just so you don't get embarrassed. We'll all do a lap together. That way nobody feels singled out. Hey, fellas. We're all, we're all family here now. Men, on that line, I'll do them with you. Let's do some push-ups. I'll do something with you. I'll do something with you. Played the, played the first White Stripes album uh, because my pecker said I should probably do it. Man, uh, this damn thing comes up with my I know, it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Jay had mentioned, uh, and this is a good point, uh, this, this album, the first White Stripes, probably not a bad track on that album, to be honest. And I hated on uh, Jack White for so long. I hated everything about him until I actually sat back and listened to the music. He was no, fighting. it wasn't until you saw It Might Get Loud. That's what Jay was saying. Yep. Once you saw It Might Get Loud, you're like, oh, he's a real guy. He's kind of cool. He makes fucking guitars out of them, nails and wires. Yeah, and there's some <laughs> other stuff. But even in that, that documentary, there was moments of where I'm like, oh, God, you're a douche. Stop. <laughs> but then I'm like, no, he's just... It's great stuff, but he's weird. Yeah. He's weird. And I'm, and I'm weird. I mean, okay. you know what I mean. So, I, I get it. Um, living in the old house, and he's got the old out-of-tune pianos or whatever. Hey, this was some VCLT from Steve from the last time you were here. Was it really? Uh, Eddie Harris in the UK. Man, that was good. This gives me a chance to use my new hey, graphic. You know, you know who's playing on this album? Who's on this album? Jeff Beck and Albert Lee. Whoa! And the last song, the last song we heard on side one, had two solos, and the first one I think was Albert or was Jeff. I don't know. One of them, they yeah. took, they took turns. And then, I, Jay, you weren't on camera. Hold it back up there. That's a great album, and it, it, it had it sounded a little like the the Swiss Movement uh, piece. Yeah. Uh, with the kids that that we like so much. Oh no no, it's not Swiss Movements. It's uh, live at Newport. <laughs> no, live at Newport. Yeah, the, the children's, it has children's that, song. I mean, he, Eddie Harris was hitting on all cylinders. In oh, absolutely. Early 70s. That's my favorite Eddie Harris. But that one's got Albert Lee and uh, Jeff Beck, among others. It's got a bunch of great musicians. That's playing. awesome. Tell me a little bit about this. Uh, uh, I don't remember you playing this. I forget the story behind this, but this is Danny Gatton, and he was an incredible picker. I think he died. 78. Uh, yeah. Just. Um, but he's he's like a guitarist, like a lot, a lot of people that play guitar. Uh, I'm really, yeah, fans of uh, Danny Gatton. This is, this actually is on uh, gold vinyl, which is really kind of interesting because it's a it's a '78 record. You don't see a lot of that. Back no, then. well, you know, I got that Mary Tyler Moore bossa nova record from the was it like red '57 '59. Was it red? It's gold. Gold. Like that. Yeah. Okay. You know, fan color. fantasy record. I was talking with Jonathan about this. Fantasy records put a lot of stuff out, colored vinyl. Yeah, they did that instead of paying their fucking artists. Paying the musicians, yeah. Credits. Like CCR. You know, that's what I wanted to play. Uh, you know, we're talking about guitars. Or I was playing uh, Keep On Chugling like all week long on the guitar. Okay. And I meant to play that uh, tonight because I wanted to just hear it. Mm -hmm. What a great song. And something somebody should modern day cover, I think. Do it. Clutch should do. Do it. Keep on chugling. Just you should do it. I should do it. You should do it. McGregor should do it. I brought both my acoustics. We Let's could, record we it. Do a little. I got a four track. Thing. We'll do it. We should do that. Who can you? What? Who can it be now? Who can it be now? Oh, on the twelve. On the twelve and the six. I never tried to play them. A couple on ovations are in the house. Wow. Too. I got my my six string back from the shop, and uh, he fixed. It's funny, he's like, oh, I remember now I don't like working on Ovation guitars. Because, you know, it's got that bowl back and you can't, you can't put it in your pliers and, and keep it pl in place as well as with a, a boxier guitar. Yeah. Uh, I played one more record. Um, well, there's another one we're going we're gonna to use. There's a bridge. We're going to use a bridge. Um, average White Band. What is that confounded bridge? Warmer Communications. This is a... Seventy-eight, another seventy-eight record on land. I think I can. I don't think I announced since. I, well, I'll tell you later. What Sam? is this? What did we play? Average white band. Yeah, what, that's what we played. What, what song did we play? 
Oh. It was a one-off. It was a one-off. It was a one-off. And was I it came side in. one or side two? Side one, I think. Side one? It's not the first song. What's the Same second song? Same feeling, different song? What's the second song? That's the, that's one I What's just What's the said. third one? Daddy's All Gone. I don't know. <laughs> it's the one that sounds like the famous one. Ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da, ba -da -ba it sounds like that, but it's not. Pick up the pieces. Push. Pick up the pieces. Oh, Push. yeah. You want to do I'm Going to Grown Man? You want to do uh, Digs of the Week? Well, there was one more record we played. And we'll we'll use slide this, it on to Digs of the Week. We'll use this as a bridge. A it's a dig. Is this our um, efforted attempt to not make an hour and 46 this minute show? Is, this is that confounded bridge that we talked about. I'll take it to the bridge. You're on a pace for an hour and 52 right now. Oh, God. No, we're we're, we're not on a pace for oh, that. We're, we're on a strong pace. pace. For that. So... To, to load it, not only... Well, Are not, we going to go bowling or not? We're going to go bowling. We're gonna Jay, go bowling. come show your score. We keep talking about bowling. We keep talking about taking these guys and we're going to get together and go bowling. We never have. Because one thing happens or a kid gets sick or what. And that's understandable. It's life. But yeah. I, I, I've moved us forward because, I, you know, I got a Groupon. I found a Groupon and it's like four people for two hours, five bucks a person. And you get shoes. So, uh, we should buy our own shoes. I bought we it. We should make our own I bought shoes. it, so that's going to push yeah. us at least to do it, because you're not going to you know, rip me off and waste this. No, no, no. <laughs> so we'll go do it. Okay. And we'll do it. Are we, are we doing Dig of the Week now? I we put the graphic it? up. Do a pickle uh, shot. This was actually, um, what a better uh, reason to take a pickle shot. Than what? A pop-off. If you uh, have anything, to drink it right now. Yeah, if you drink something with us. I'm oh, drinking something with drink this. Here, by the way, no one died. Uh, this a is, friend of mine died. We, this oh, record. Fuck, are we? Are you kidding me? What? We're drinking to Bart. Yeah, yeah. A friend, friend of, of ours, ours uh, passed this week, and uh, it was uh, kind of sudden. Didn't know. Yeah. Uh, the sad thing to me is he called me uh, a, few, a couple months ago. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah I didn't he know left that. me a voicemail because I didn't recognize the number. I, I told myself, I'm going to call Bart, I'm going to call Bart, and I, and I never called Bart. Now he's dead and you can't call him. You're right. And I feel bad about that. So. You should. So thanks for uh, pushing, that. <laughs> pushing that my way. Hey. But uh, to Bart. He was a music man. I will say, the nice thing is they had barbecue at the funeral. Was, That's crazy. I got me a big. At the funeral I got me home. a big ass barbecue sandwich. At the and funeral went, home. And walked across the street to the record store afterwards he, he would appreciate that he would have fucking appreciated that's that. spot on he would appreciate that more than he appreciated the church service that they gave you know, for the memorial. sure i mean good guy yeah here's the ball hell yeah he worked with us and uh, he actually is on my emmy there were three people that worked on the damn show that, we, that i won an emmy on and he was one of them so hell yeah to him liquor down pickles up Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. So anyway. Oh my belch. Tastes like a I think the last song the last you ever, you ever seen a homeless man's butthole? No. I well, have! I saw a homeless man take a shit. There's a wide brown circle around well, it. I, the middle I, I is pink I assume, and a little inflamed. I have to say, I assumed he was homeless. Yeah. But I saw a guy taking a shit by a tree right near a mall. How much did you pay him? I, I got it for free. Okay. Free I show. was on my way to the beach, too. Yeah. So it was like the beginning of my vacation trip to the beach. I get to see a guy taking a shit by a tree. And then on the way back, you got free hermit crabs. The one thing I thought, though, was... He might have had a good diet because it looked like a pretty good solid shit. Either that it was made up mostly of bile and uh, his internals. <laughs> what are we doing here? See what happens when we don't make a rundown? I don't know. When we don't make a rundown, Listen, what happens? Listen, um, the last album we played uh, was one, it's actually a dig. Yeah, it draws us in the dig of the week, which yeah. I'll put up a graphic. And I'll and do it again because I don't care. I sent you a text on this one because I have this album. Yeah, and uh, I said uh, it's not your favorite King Crimson. It, it, it was my it was my least favorite, but I think that's changing. Um, it's a great album, and and I always got confused as to the order because I came into King Crimson late for for King Crimson. 
I, I kind of entered one late one night. It was a long night, and there was a lot of time to kill. And a friend of mine introduced me to to Discipline. That was the first King Crimson album. Really, that's heard. first one you heard. But but after that, I thought I thought um, three, of, three of a Perfect Pair was next. But it's actually B. This is from 1982. But you know, you were talking about it sounding. But I didn't I didn't get into King Crimson until like '87, so I was looking back. You know, you're talking about it sounding like David Byrne. I think discipline well, really Blue, sounds like Adrian David Adrian Blue's Byrne. voice and and David Byrne's voice have a similar tim sure. timber to it that um, that uh, yeah just resonates. But yeah, this is uh, E.G. or Warner Brothers Records from '82 beat. Uh, I had it, I, but the, the first time I bought it, it was on cassette, and it was a nice. it was a well, it wasn't a good cassette though. And with cassettes. You either got a really great cassette, or you got one that d destroyed the sound of the album. This that was a case. muffler. I've got a muffler. Yeah. So, uh, but I'm, I'm, you're buying this. I was gonna say I'm giving it to you, but you're buying this. No, I'm gonna buy. It. Yeah. Hell yeah, man. So, and it wasn't like price, pricey record. I meant to compare them to see which mm. one to give you, but I'm just gonna give you that one because I don't care. But it's it's a uh, it's a great uh, it's in good shape. I just threw up in my mouth a little bit. Good. Mm. Can I do another one? I've only got like five to talk about. Yeah, I, hell, what about, yeah. Maybe six. I also picked up uh, an album the other day. At, album? At the, Ed McKay. Who? This is called One Step Beyond. It's the, the band's called Madness, and the, the one song you oh, might, Madness. you'll remember is called Our House. Our house in the middle of our street. Yep. But actually, this song, One Step Beyond, was like the... The early days of MTV, they didn't have a whole lot of videos, and they would get a lot of British videos, and this was one of them that they got, was One Step Beyond. And they're kind of a, that British ska sound, that, yep. that, 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 that you like know. New, this is on Stiff Records, which is kind of cool. I've never seen one before, but uh, it looks like Stiff Records, that's uh, Elvis Costello. If you say so. But anyway, it's One Step Beyond by Madness. Huh. What year is that? Uh, 1979, I think. Oh, wow. Not even in the '80s, really. Well, it, it was like kicking into the '80s, though. Yeah, but still. It was like a kickoff. But but still. But still. Um. Do one. Do one. Do one. All the stuff that I'm going to talk about, other than that, King Crimson, is all all going to come from. That the, was uh, that was Madness's debut album, by the way. GMR and Bargain Bucket. You got bargain are your stuff bucket. Bargain Bucket stuff? Hell no. No. Your no. stuff is non-bargain bucket. I don't have time for bar. I, I wish I had more time to spend to get bargain buckets, but I just don't. Everything I'm going to talk about I have was to a go buck. and get stuff that someone's already handpicked for. Yeah, all this I was, appreciate that. All this was a buck. Uh, Swinging Ramsey Lewis Trio. This is from '60. God, I don't know, '62 or '63. Um, it's a Ramsey Lewis Trio. I know anytime. Ramsey Lewis is good in general. If it's the trio, which means the, you know the jazz stuff on Cadet, you definitely pick it up. Uh, this is after no, it's it's right around the in crowd stuff. And I just picked up another one uh, on Cadet, and I can't think of the name of it. Uh, what's Potluck? I just I, the uh, swinging Potluck and um, the in crowd. Yeah. It's, Fairly close in terms mm -hmm. of years, like '62. It's a trio album, though, right? Four. Yeah, this is a trio album. Um, so uh, it's. Yeah. I, I expect good things out of this. I kind of bought it blindly, so but for a, you, for a buck. You haven't listened to it yet? No, no, no I just bought this yesterday. Uh, for a buck, though, so I'm pretty confident that's going to be good. It's going to be some, probably some moving piano jazz, and I'm not the biggest piano jazz guy, but uh, I think that'll be. Jamming but Ramsey his, Lewis does it, does it right. Of course. Uh, how many more you got, Steve? I don't know. One, two, three, four. You got four more? Let's I got see. three more. Okay. Uh, here's another debut album by the Violent Femmes. Oh, nice. Uh, I think it's like 1982. Good stuff. Yeah, this was very. Uh, you got a Facebook page for that girl that's on the front of that? Uh, no. No. She's all, right. all grown up now. Okay. Well, that's no good. But uh, yeah, this is the one with Blister in the Sun and yeah. um, Kiss Off. I mean, it's all the you know those landmark Violent Femmes songs. Yeah, this is. This I is like a lot. I like the stuff that's up. not hits better than the hit stuff for sure. Right. Well, Hollow Ground is a good one if you like that. I like. Yeah. I have Hollow. Yeah. I, I used to have it on cassette. Maybe or something, something. 
That's kind of like B-52s. I found the one this week that's um, that's got the hit on it. The hit? Um, Rock Lobster? No. Love Shack. Love Shack. That album. Let me do one more. Do one, Steve. I picked this up today. Apparently Ben Harper has a new album coming out. And this is like a promo 7-inch. Oh, cool. That you, you know, uh, you get $2. It was $2, and if you buy the album, you get $2 off the album. Yeah. And I, last time I bought a 7-inch was the Alabama Shakes uh, promo that they, that Jonathan gave me. And I ended up buying the the album because I like the so much. Yeah. Oh, yeah. But, uh, this is the 7-inch that uh, I picked up today. Sealed. So, new Ben Harper. Yep. Um, cool, man. What do I know about it? I don't know nothing about it. The song's called Shine. This, the B side's called Why Am I Treated So Bad? Nice. Whatever. Whatever, bro. <laughs> Do another one. Um, uh, again, from the bargain bucket, uh, Organ Greats. This is a compilation that came out on Design Records. It's got Jimmy Smith and Dave Baby Cortez on it. And both of these guys are killer. Of course. Uh, I don't know much about this. I don't Let me know. interrupt you for a second. The breaking news here. The, Please. Actually, the, the title of the album, the Ben Harper um, album, is called Call It What It Is. That's coming out. So I don't know if it's out yet, but it, that's the one that's just, just, around, just around the corner. Design. I know. I'm not familiar what? with design records. You see, what's that look like? Um, looks like a record with the design logo on it. Uh, I'm not in bad shape or anything. No, it's in great shape. Great shape. The covers a little you, split. Who else on this? Look at that. Jimmy Smith and Dave Baby Cortez. Yeah, two smoking just organ guys. I keep on this damn microphone. Yeah, I keep doing that too. Uh, that <laughs> was another buck, man. A dollar in a pretty decent shape. Nice back, there's a lot of cool pictures. Uh, pretty, you know, I have to say, uh, this is my little, uh, I have to, my little soliloquy here, Steve. I ran and I should leave the room. No, but. No, that was not a soliloquy, I know, just shut up. I know. I ran into something that troubled me this week. So I'm looking at the uh, dollar records, okay? I'd pulled a stack of five or six of the four that I purchased. One I thought was a slam dunk, okay? It's Count Basie mm. uh, on the black and silver verve. Yeah. I flipped it open, it's a gatefold. There are two or three pictures of African-American gentlemen smoking, smoking cigarettes, cigarettes in black and white photos. Okay. And it's where Count Basie is playing with Arthur Prysock. Prysock, yeah, he's a singer. So that's, and that, I pulled that, up, that's what's going to bring you down. And I, I pulled up some samples, and it fucking sucks. But you don't like singers like that. The, the, the torch it. song singers, you're not into that. It killed me to yeah. put this record back. It was in good shape. It was on the black and silver verb. And Arthur, no, 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 Dude. not to take anything away from Arthur Price. No, it's just it's the, great not, singer. Not what you're into, though. But listening to the record, I was like, ah, and I'm like, well, what about the next track? And I will put it on the next track. And I'm like, ah, what about what about the next track? Damn it! Like I wanted the record to be way better than it really was. Right. Uh, I mean, for sure. Uh, but anyhow, in that same dollar spot, also picked up. Um, you know, we're big in the Cha Cha records. You and I both. And you have uh, at least one of these guys. I have Viva Bossa Nova. Uh, Lorendo Almeida? Yeah. And the Bossa Nova All-Stars. This is Ole Bossa Nova. Ole Bossa Nova. Yeah. It looks very similar. The album cover looks very similar to the, the, the Viva Bossa Nova. I'm not... Let me just tell you, before we even get going on this, uh, probably, I don't know, VG plus Lorendo is a guitar player. No, probably VG cover. Whatever. Whatever. Look at this freaking record, man. I hate that. I hate that. I, but all the ones oh. I pull out of this plastic? That's definitely a reissue of the, the Capital Rainbow label, but... Look at that. Yeah, that's that's in a pretty immaculate condition. I don't say near mint, but probably four or five times a year. Wow, that is really nice. That is near mint. Yeah. It no, looks I like it's say, never been played. It's pretty damn close. Yeah, good luck with the plastic. Get back, back in there. You got it. You got it. We're all counting on you. 
Mm. Now show that cover off. Mm. But yeah, we're, we're big on the Cha Cha Records, mm -hmm. and uh, this is one that uh, I'm really interested to hear. Mm -hmm. Not only because I'm um, impressed with the musicians on the album, but the fact that this is in immaculate shape. Uh, which for a buck. Have you heard it? Christ, you're not gonna you're not gonna pass this up. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, so mm -hmm. Jay's got a little special treat. <clears throat> Take the microphone, Jay, and continue to minister. I'll do one more. Do one more while Jay's getting set up. And then you open that. He's got something yeah. to open. Uh, here's, you know what? I'm going to wait for this. You wait for it, Steve. I'm going to do this one. Uh, a couple weeks ago, I picked this up because it was in a, uh, a guy bought too much of something and you put this in a 25% off bin. Oh. And I, I, did, uh, me a course light. I did a little job for somebody. He made a little extra cash. And oh. I thought, you know, it's time for a treat, so I got another deluxe uh, album with the Led Zeppelin reissue. Oh, nice! And this is uh, Into the Outdoor, folks. If you haven't, if you don't recognize a paper bag when you see it. Uh huh. Uh, it comes with a companion audio, and it's basically the same album, but with all alternate takes, and it's it's fun to listen. You know, I just love these, you know, things you've never heard before kind of oh, yeah, records. Absolutely. But this one's uh, hey, thanks, bro. Portion into the outdoor. Cool hand loop number one, Jay. You know, produced mainly by John Paul Jones because uh, Jimmy was so uh, into the smack that he couldn't really keep it together. To it happens, produce man. An album. Bonus disc? It happens. Yeah, this is the one with the bonus yes. disc, and I think maybe we'll put this on at the end of the show and uh, keep some people around to listen to some of these uh, these rough mixes, as nice. they call them. Yeah. So yeah. That's pretty. Have you have you listened to it yet? Oh yeah. Yeah. A few times. How long have we had it? Okay. All right. Yeah. Uh, I got one more. Jay, you got a uh, little special treat going on here. Special got? package in the mail from a friend that's in the studio. Tonight. In the studio audience. It's the the Willie Nelson with the long oh, hair, the cowboy oh, the hat, the redheaded stranger. I see on the back. Yeah. Dude. That's, that's not. Uh, I, I love. I, I effing love that album. That album is such a great concept album. It's it's up there. It's up there with some oh, of yeah. his favorites. Oh yeah, pretty popular. Yes, sir. That's to me, it's up there with like. And it was owned by somebody that liked vinyl. When it comes to outside of the cover. When it comes to like shipping. entire albums in their own concept, it's I'm, Jonah I'm, Jones a, I'm throwing cover. it in there with like uh, uh, the Beatles. This might have been this Jonah Jones might have been just for packing, but this was Jonah Jones cover. I like Jonah Jones. Yeah. Trumpeteer, jazz trumpeteer. I don't know. Oh, yeah. I don't know the the fella. Dude, redheaded stranger though. That's that's legit that business. That's legit. Oh, I've God. got. If oh, I don't God, have it, yeah. it's a Grammy winner. I don't know if I have it on vinyl. That's country right now. I don't, I don't I have, have it. Hammerman has it. It will be it will be listened to tomorrow night. Hell yeah, man. Thank uh, you. Redheaded stranger. I love all y'all, but I'm gonna kill the rest of the mm -hmm. Kill that pop off. I'll kill them rooskies right into my. She, he, he shoots a lady for touching his horse. Seems inappropriate. The preacher does. Is that how it goes? I'm the preacher. Yeah, you're right. Oh. All right? You shouldn't throw things. Probably not. Your shoulders, shoulders aren't made for that. Yeah, anymore. I don't have good shoulders. Um, all right, do, uh, I'll, I'll do one, Steve. Okay. In that same dollar spot, keep in mind this is all bargain uh, bargain bucket material here. Um, I picked up something I wasn't too familiar with. I've never been a biggest fan. Oh, Queen that's Prague. That's the original Prague uh, metal. Queensryche. Uh, this is the first Queensryche album, meant to be their uh, like uh, four song demo, uh, that got ended up getting re released by EMI here in the, the states. And uh, this is a basically it's a twelve inch single that has two songs per side 83 i believe it is early queens uh shitty cover the record's not in bad shape another dollar score turns out this is i'll be i'll be honest uh i looked that up and there was only like a few on for sale on discogs starting at like 7.99 8.99 for a buck i'm like okay if i don't like it somebody will so worst we'll give it a shot and right at least, if nothing else, is trade bait, you know? I'll trade you your right heat record right now for it. No, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what you got? Well, I don't, I don't, I don't quite know what I have, but I, I knew okay. I, I need to get into it. 
I was at uh, Underdog today, and he had someone someone had and an loaded unloaded their entire collection of Lucifer's Friend albums. Oh whoa! And I was looking at him, and I was thinking, there's there's something about this band. I don't know about this band to be honest with you, but it's it's German. They were they were kind of a prog heavy metal band, but they were kind of a psyche and jazz fusiony as well. Um, so I was looking at like the mids because there were three that I was looking at from seventy four to seventy six or seventy eight, and this is uh, called Mind Exploding from mm. I think seventy five or seventy six. Whoa! Um, but really cool. I mean, all three of them that I was listening to, I could go, I could go either way. But I told myself, don't you know, don't spend that money. Just buy one. The, the, probably the other two won't be here when you come back, yeah. but you, at least you're, you're introduced to a, another great German band that I, I didn't know nothing about. Yeah. And you guys can school me on that if you want to. I'm, you know, I'm, I'm more than welcome to learn about Lucifer's Friend. That kind of sounds weird to say. Yeah, I like, <laughs> I like the way that sounds, Steve. I'll be honest with you. Yeah. Lucifer's Friend. Yeah. I think that describes me. Okay. Uh, weird situation this week. Uh -oh. Sometimes I talk about these the, uh, on the show. Sometimes I don't. So during the week, uh, I stop at a lot of Goodwills, um, and I pick up a, a scout for records. But most of you know, I also look for old school video games too, from NES and Atari all the way to like uh, PS2 and like, stuff like that. And I, I pick up a lot of PS2 games that uh, you know I I like or think I may like, especially when they're like a buck fifty or some shit like that. And uh, so this week, um, I picked up um, several, but one that stood out was um, Spyro Enter the Dragonfly. What? Spyro Enter the Dragonfly? Yeah, no, this is significant. Are you serious? This is significant. There's not, you didn't know, that, but you didn't know how did, significant this was. I didn't know how significant this was. Tell us about this guy. Well, uh... You know, my friend Jack Mamias. One time been on the show. He's been on the show twice. Famously, and the second time. He's been on the show twice. The second He's... time, infamously. <laughs> we won't go into detail. No, Let's just leave Jack's it. a great guy. That we, uh, my friends are, are picked for special reasons, and they're all great and special. Sure. Um, but anyway, Jack is a video game producer, designer, yeah, absolutely. lead designer. Um, Did the Crisis and Far Cry Crisis and Far Cry, show, put yeah. him on a map. Yeah. Um, he's a professor at video game design at Savannah College of Art and Design. Um, but back, there was a time when he, he, he started a company called Check Six Productions. Check Six. Check Six. Is this it's a, it's in a, Germany? It's a, that's a, that's a this airplane United fighter States. term, like check your six. Yeah, yeah. Um, this USA uh, or Germany? USA. I don't think he was in Germany at the time. Okay. Check Six Productions and, and scrambled to, to do a game. They got a contract and they ended up doing Spyro. Yeah. Enter the Dragonfly. They it's got a, a pricey Spyro game. Type. It's like it's a legit uh, collectible they throw, game. They throw yeah. reissued, like, okay, we did Spyro. And they throw these titles out and people grab them and produce. And, you know, it ended up being, uh, I think, produced. Uh, in, in the long run, by Universal, we had to get a bigger company to kind of put it out there. But, but Check Six was this was like the only game Check Six ever did. I think they had to file bankruptcy or whatever. The the company didn't last to the next game. But yeah. that's very typical of game. It's a, the game industry is very it's, it's very cut and dry. But so you you have uh, his name's actually in this. We looked it, in the, it's, it's in it's, the book. It's in the book. That's here. so cool. But uh, so dollar fifty Goodwill yeah. score. Uh, for a game that's pretty cool, I've been playing it. It's Spyro. it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat. It's colorful and cutesy, and uh, but also yeah, adventurous. Yeah, it's that little Spyro guy. He like throws fire it's around. It's a dragon. It's a dragon. It's a, it's a, a, a kind of an arcade style game. Adventure game. Yeah. But if you look yeah. if you look on this uh, it's fun, though. first page of credits, it, it has a Check Six Studios uh, credits right there. You look over here under additional production. It's, uh, I think it's Jack Mamias right there. That's I it. know that guy. That's it. That's a guy I've been to hell and hell and back right Yeah. There. That's right. No, no, no. That's pretty cool though. That Very was just cool. kind of random, and it was. I got it because when I looked this game up, the game. I will like, say, I will it's say, it's worth it. And, I, and I, I did text him, see what 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 part did you play? And he was producer, but he did say he's got another company and they're working on a new game. It's 
called Starfighter Inc. and it's a Starfighter game. And I would show you video, but he, he, he sent me a link to some really cool video that they're working on, but I can't show it to you. Sorry. It's going to be a PC game. It's a PC uh, Starfighter platform, Starfighter Inc. Inc. And it's, so it's when it comes out, check it out. It's kind of like X-wing and some of these other. You know, you're you're in the cockpit kind of. HUD display. HUD. So you'll see but, an official trailer really, come out eventually. Really, really good. I mean, if you remember anything about Far Cry, he's a stickler for detail and, and yeah. the, the, the ships in the sky, I mean the space, it, it's just amazing the stuff that, that uh, he can get uh, done. He's a, he's a get it done guy. He's not the guy writing code to make to make the texture. He's the guy saying, this is how you do it. This is what Speaking you do. of writing code just to make it work and make some money. Okay. I uh, also, uh, you folks know, as, as well, like I was saying, uh, I not only look for the records, I look for the video games, and um, I don't normally buy video games specifically just because they're collectible. Uh, normally, it's usually some shit from Atari all the way to uh, current gen stuff. I get it just because uh, it's some shit I want to play, you know, Although or try you, out. Sometimes you don't have a game system that'll play it. True, uh, but to or earlier this week I was looking at some NES games and the the the, the, the lady said um, she had a couple over there it's Finn's ringtone are you playing music? You know? it's Finn's ringtone no music these is that what's playing on the air right now? these cats probably. Are like prisoners trying to escape we probably shouldn't play that on the air uh, but yeah they had the two Color dreams, color dreams, hey, or hey. Co color dreams. or also known as the Wisdom Tree games in the store, uh, Bible Adventures what are these? and Exodus. These are unlicensed NES games uh, that I just have to mention. I don't mention this stuff very often because it's not music, it's not records, blah blah. blah. But uh, they're the black ones and not the blue ones. And uh, in the original cart there for the uh, Bible Adventures, that little carton thing. And then uh, Exodus actually has the manual with it in the behind there. Um, <laughs> these things won't actually fit in the damn. Uh, what? They won't fit in the NES. What? What do you mean they won't fit in the NES? They're so black they won't fit. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's can crazy. You, but I was like stoked them or pick, something. I was stoked to pick these up for a good price. I don't talk about games a lot here on the thing, even though I want to. Uh, but I don't. Oh, um, you do. You talk about I do, games but I don't. Week. But I, no, no. I did for a couple of weeks and I stopped. But um, it's like every week I'm here. But that's cool though. That's <laughs> that's some random baloney right there. So anyhow, speaking of random baloney, um, that's dig of the week. That's that's dig of the week. Wrap it. Wrap We're it. wrapping that up. And speaking Put of a damn bow on it. Speaking of wrapping it and baloney in it. Have you oh, ever wondered? Key. Are you going to go to commercial break? Have you ever wondered? <laughs> um, can you put cheese uh, on the chili? If you've ever wondered that, take a look at this uh, Wendy's training video, and we'll be right back here in a couple minutes. Chili comes in large and small, both for the dining room and the cups I to go. Always got to make sure that you stir it right before you put the chili in the bowl of cup. Use a figure eight motion from the bottom to the top to really get it stirred up. For a small serving, get the eight ounce ladle open to a half inch from the top of the cup or bowl. Large size half for the little look at your the line on the cup for born and then chili can be served with cheese. Fill a third cup half with the greatest kind. Sprinkle on the top and then put the bowl in the middle of the tray every time. Now frosty's coming for sizes, large, medium, and small, and then there's I'm 
Let the draw arm drop The remaining frosty Will fill the cup The orders to go Be sure to put a lid on And serve it with a smile That's why I'm singing this song Milk and cookies if you please Milk's in the region Check the expiration date Make sure it's fresh And serve it with a cup With the open side up Now don't have the date Cookies should be whole, never broken or cracked. Put them on the tray, what a great snack. Chili, frosty milk, and cookies, simple as that. Go have yourself some fun, cause you got the knack. But you're not using all your assets. With a body like that, you can go places. Sexual harassment makes you feel like less of a person. For help and hotline numbers, ask for the Stop Sexual Harassment booklet at your public library. Be a little more sexy. Hey, we're talking about your job here. No, we're talking about sexual harassment here. And I don't have to take it. Sexual harassment violates you, and it violates the law. You know... It's hard for a young person to admit that he or she has been touched in a bad way. If you've been touched that way, don't be ashamed. Tell someone you trust, like your parents, your doctor, your teacher, or counselor, or your minister or rabbi. Right, Orko? Right on! Shira and I want to talk to you about something that's very personal, your body. Remember, it's your body and no one should touch you in a way that you feel is wrong. I'll get anybody who tries it. It's not that easy, Orko. It's hard for a young person to admit that he or she has been touched in a bad way. If you've been touched that way, don't be ashamed. Tell someone you trust, like your parents, your doctor, your teacher, or counselor, or your minister or rabbi. Right, Orko? Right on! Woo! Back on Grown Men Record Night. Uh, after that, can you fully say with the utmost confidence that you can or cannot put chili on cheese. You can put, you can put it on Cheese that. on chili. Put cheese on it. Put cheese on it. That's good. That's good, good stuff. I want to take that when I, go to, when I go to Wendy's and just play the video when I ordered my chili. That's what she called infotainment because choices, not only was it entertaining choices. with the music and the, the way that they edited the video, like but it's informational. I like I had Wendy's for lunch today. Did you have chili? No, a lot of mayonnaise. I ordered, um, I, if I, I got an extra large mayonnaise with lettuce. And they said, what do you mean by that? I'm like, if you don't give me all of this, I'll shoot all of your employees. I poured, and, I poured you up. This oh, is, yeah. This is a Sasson. You okay. say you've had a Sasson? Yeah. Sasson is like the beer that they made for the French like migrant workers, they got two, two liters of it a day or something. It was yeah. part of their deal, I guess. But it's a it's a nice, easy drinking, six percent alcohol kind of beer. Here's to their. It's got a little herbal taste to it. I asked him. I said, "What's what's the kick in here? Because it's not like hoppy, but it's more like um, herbally." Here's to their ooh la la lousy credit scores. It's a good beer, though. I appreciate it. Yeah, it's a good beer. Because I'm, I'm it's a sour. I'm a working man. It's sour. It's sour. 
and not malty. I think it was going to be malty, it's but not it wasn't. hoppy. No. And we're going to do a so to speak. Oh, we are. Yeah. Okay. I didn't know if we were going to do one, but now I've got this. Well, we're, now we're, I've got this we're down sour to, malty beer in my we're mouth. We're down to we're, like three three sodas in the house. We are. Here's one of them. This is one of them. I bought these uh, a couple weeks ago because I thought we hadn't done them. Yeah. We might have done them. We don't know. If I know you, we've done, this is Dr. Enough, but it's red. It's one of the original we've energy done, drinks. We've done the regular green Dr. Enough. It looks like, looks like Mountain Dew. But or a ginger ale. It's an herbal drink. It's like a mix between... But it's green, so it looks like Mountain Dew. It's like Mountain Dew and ginger ale mixed together. This is their cherry flavor? Yep. What about Dragon? Oh, I'm dragging the Zeppelin album. That's nice. Yeah, you know uh, Which I hope to play right after the show. Nope. Uh, this is Dr. Nuff's uh, it's all, cherry it's herbal all, it's all cherry Pete flavor Weir with ginseng and guarana rich in vitamins. Uh. This is a good soda. I've had it. It's a good soda. He says he's had it, so. It's a good soda. You can't find them a lot around here anymore. Uh, but you can't find it them. It tastes like something, like a like some kind of a cherry cherry uh, yeah. popsicle, maybe or something. Yep, you got it. Like a chili willy. A, chill, chili a willy. melted chili willy melted that's carbonated. Throw it in your mouth. That's carbonated. Let it run down your chin. Or my, then when you get to this, that, mm. Robitussin. <laughs> See I what like, I mean? I like that too, man. I like Robitussin too. Robo right at the end of it. I'll Robo trip all weekend long. You fuckers will get up with me. It's like Skype me, bro. We'll fucking Robo trip on Skype, man. Talk about life and fucking records. Well, you say we've done this, but. Bro! We don't keep records. We keep records. Oh, well, well, thanks to Sweet Tea. Well, we keep records. Thanks to Sweet <laughs> Tea, we keep records of the chips. We have records. We don't keep records. Of, we keep of records. Soda. No, we keep records. They got, they got music all over them. Well, this is good. Is he doctor enough cherry? And you like cherry? Pick it up. Take a take a swig. Metal theologian says doctor enough, so to speak, number one. Oh, okay. Metal theologian really likes doctor enough. No, that, no, no, that, the very first, so oh, to speak. Oh, the very first, so to speak. Yeah. But, but, but was it the cherry? I think it was the green one. Probably the green one. I think it was the green one. But we've one. done the, we've maybe done this one, but still. I have to, I have to say, you have to prove it. And you and I, you and I are the two last people that are going to go back and watch the previous episodes of the show. Well, it only just accept that it has me on it, and I'll watch. If anybody it. wants to become ambassador of so to speak, I'll watch anything that has me on it. I'll send, I'll send you, I'll send you a twelve pack of Blinums, or your, whatever, yeah. whichever flavors you want. Someone's calling you on your phone. phone I don't right. think your phone's playing music over the air right now. It might. I don't it know. might. It might. It might. That's my name. Let's talk about something else. All right, let's do a chip chat. We might be wrapping this show up. In We're getting minute. close. Now, what's the deal with these guys? Well, I don't know. I was in the store and I saw that Doritos. Is this part of the flavor swap deal? Nope. No. They're just doing their own. Doritos is doing their own thing. They're mixing. Mix. They're mixing it up. What? No. Come on now. We're just getting started. So anyway, they had like a couple of flavor mixes and one's called one's called cheese explosion and one's called taco explosion oh, wow. i don't know if there's some other explosions right. maybe some seminal vesicle that all sounds great to me seminal vesicle explosion maybe that's I don't know. inappropriate are you leaving that's inappropriate anyway uh so this is taco explosion and it involves the spicy nacho chips some taco Looks like those, um, what are those rolled ones they, they call Takis? them? Takis? No, well, or, they don't uh, call them that. They call uh, them, what are we, we love them. Yeah. yeah. Dinomitas. Dinomitas, see. Si. Uh, some twists that looks like sour cream and some salsa looking triangles. Wow. These are all I like look, triangles, Steve. These all look like corn products. I like triangles. And I'm, my effing mic is getting hooked on a chair. God! It's the pea chair. 
No, that's that's the feature. I know my, my mic got hooked oh, on the feature. So so I'm gonna let's try. I got nothing but Doritos when I put my hand in there. It's straight up Doritos. I got, no, it's not. But you got. Oh oh, I see. So it's a little mix of all your favorite corn products. Wow. Oh shit! I just dropped one. So there's your Dinamitas, the twists. I don't get. I don't have a triangle to show you, but so what? You'll get it. Wow. <laughs> We, what do you think of that? I think Frito Lay still, they're, they're doing things to keep their, their brand out there. Yeah, it's all that same taco flavor when they do those. But it's a nice mix. Not bad. It just tastes like a big Dorito though. Just different shapes of a Dorito. It's all the same seasoning. Well, yeah, of course it is. Yeah. So I like it. Yeah. It just plays with your tongue. Because now I'm putting a little twist on my tongue. Oh, yeah. It's like, oh, okay. Would I pay more for this? No, but it's fantastic. I mean, otherwise. It tastes like when Doritos was in cahoots with Taco Bell and they had those Taco Supreme they Doritos. They still have them, bud. Yeah? They still have them. They're good. <laughs> These are just different texture, different shape, blah, blah, blah. Same flavor. So I won't. I, I would like it to be a little spicier than that. Then. I would. But that's like a standard Dorito. It says spicy nacho. That taco. Taco. So that's that taco when they were in cahoots. You think it taco tastes like though. a taco? Hey, no. if 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 God didn't want a man to eat pussy, why did he make it look like a taco? Uh, because I want to build a wall. Where? between wait what did I say something about a wall wall <laughs> I want to build a vaginal wall between here and forever hey let's get out of this show and put on some Zeppelin we're, ruin we're ruining everything I'm losing my voice and now's a good time to leave it Hey, thanks everybody. We're wrapping up the uh, little chip chat as a rebellious. I would appreciate everybody that's joined us on the um, the live stream here tonight, and uh, also the folks that check us out on the uh, YouTube channel, which we we'll want to make sure everybody's still keeping up with, of course. And during the week, from time to time, I'll post shit on the uh, Facebook page, uh, and uh, you know. That's where we do stuff as I lose my voice. So as we close out this uh, uh, 160... Are you serious? 166th edition what? of Grown Man Record Night. As always, we want to encourage all you folks that uh, this is what it's all about. Bump, Bump set, set. Salvation. Salvation. We'll see you next week on an uh, all new Grown Man Record Night uh, mm. when we uh, have our program here on the I got internet. a gig. Hey, uh, we got our Zeppelin thing going again. We got a gig on the 30th of April. You know, you lost it. You, lo you lost your time. For we got, right. are we still on the air? No. I got two gigs in June. No. The Laughing Gas? Yep. We dropped, the, they dropped the Laughing, it's now just called the The, the Gas. Gas. That's inappropriate. And then back at smoking around the dance.